course. I did warn you, didn't I? I did warn you that there was going to be an applause. It's not for me, it's for the guest. Okay, and uh, our guest tonight is indeed uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Madden. Hi there, Jimmy. Hello, Darren. How are you, mate? I'm very well. How are you doing tonight? I'm very well. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jamie. Okay, yes, uh, absolutely. Now, listen, Jimmy, uh, could you just tell us now, just a quick summary. Um, uh, Jimmy, you have toured uh, Asia, Australia, obviously the UK. You had a, a top 10 indie charting in the uh, US. Two albums are out and a, a few singles littered here and there. Uh, two new ones and an EP coming this year. Um, so you've also had a documentary, I think, that dropped today. Uh, and uh, I've had a look at that uh, this evening, um, which has been great. And uh, so I enjoyed that. And this may give you, it just it did indeed give me a bit of an insight, a further insight. But uh, my job is actually to do a bit of research on, on uh, everybody that I have on the show. And I've done that, uh, Jimmy. And it also means that I've been able to formulate a few questions. Anyway, how are you, Jimmy? But, yeah, no, very well. <laughs> a little bit there, but people do, they do their research. Oh, uh, no. No, I didn't, didn't I, uncover well, anything too much. <laughs> okay. No, 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 all right. No, not much to hide, hopefully. No, no. Well, do you know what? It's, uh, it's lovely to have you on the show tonight, and, uh, and I do mean that. So we've got a few questions for you here on the About Us show, and uh, you've probably listened to the show before, have you? Of course. Yeah, okay, you're right. You're saying all the right <laughs> things. Now, listen, Jimmy, could you just tell our listeners, um, I think you now you originate from Australia, but you've lived over here for a little while now. How are you settling into the UK? Yeah, very well, very well. It's been, uh, you know, obviously came here for the English weather. Yes. Uh, you just can't beat these English summers. No. Um, <laughs> well, you've gone from Melbourne to the weather here, so it's not too different. No, it's not been too bad. No, no. it's just... Uh, Time to walk in stilettos in the snow. Mm, yeah, absolutely right. Now, listen, I've got my first question for you tonight, and here it is. Uh, so, uh, now, Jimmy, if you were a, a planet, uh, which one would you be <laughs> and why? And uh, and please, no no cliches uh, like, you know, Earth or Mars. Okay, so, so just think far out. Go on. Is that, a re is, that an un is that an unfair question? Go on. No, no, I think, oh, okay, well, I was going to go and say Earth means the universe. However, yes. if we've got to be cliche, yeah. um, I think uh, Pluto is the underdog. Oh, you it know, is. It's, uh, it's a planet. It's not a planet. Yeah. It is a planet. It can't make them much. That's a very good mind. answer. I do like that. I do like that. Now, now, listen, Jimmy, growing up in Melbourne, I think that's where you're originally from. That's where you originate. That's where you grew up. So did you ever consider pursuing a career as a professional Wiggles impersonator because <laughs> I know that was something <laughs> didn't you was that, I'm sure I saw that is it true it is, <laughs> yeah um, it, my backup career was, was to be uh, one of the Wiggles no um, what as a kid it's one of Australia's highest selling acts of all time so my, the bar I have to meet is the Wiggles which is not quite <laughs> indulgent they're not still around are they are they still around they are still around yeah are they yeah, really uh, a Wiggles impersonator <laughs> That is so funny. Um, I mean, what was your favourite Wiggles song and uh, could you sing any of it right now? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, 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 potato. That was so unfair. That's actually not bad. Not bad. Well, I mean, you are a musician, yeah? Uh, <laughs> right, so now... You, you mentioned actually feeling um, like you're from sort of outer space. Now, um, if you crash landed uh, back there, what's the one thing you'd miss the most about Earth? In, in, um, I think you'd mentioned something about uh, <laughs> uh, if you were from outer space, you know, if you crash landed back there or is that... Uh, go on. Yeah, I, the, the pub's probably... Mm. Uh, be remiss, probably not to say Grace. Because you might, she'll be listening. So obviously, Grace, mm. and um, but, uh, and probably, you know, a nice can of coke on a hot day. I think that's a really good answer. A really good answer. So, just in terms of the musical beginnings, um, what was more challenging? Challenging, sort of mastering the the bass guitar or figuring out how to how to talk to girls with a, with a bass guitar in hand. <laughs> go on. Um, well, as, these as these questions are unfair. I'm so sorry. Go on. No, yeah. no. As bass, as bass players will know, it, you, you've got to be on your A game to, you know, pull the attention away from the frontman and the lead guitarist and, and the drummers. The drummers have got the easiest job when it comes to me and women, really, because they just sit there and look pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think, yeah, 
yeah, the, yeah. the my advice would probably be um, yeah. uh, dance around. Get, get the attention off the front, but dance about. Make, make it about you. Okay. The back home with the band. Okay, that's fine. So look, um, you've got a history of tinkering with uh, tape machines uh, and old school recording gear. I mean, if you could uh, invent a new musical instrument, uh, what would it be called and uh, how would it sound? Uh, well, the one that I would love to have would be Jimmy's Think Box, where when you mm. come up with a song in your head, yeah. uh, you can think it, you connect something to some probes to your head and it mm. just goes to tape. Yeah. or demos for you because there's nothing worse than hearing it yeah. and then thinking, huh, how do that's, I actually do that? That's actually very cool. That's very cool. So your early attempts at songwriting involved some classic teenage melodrama. Uh, if 16-year-old Jimmy <laughs> could hear your music today, what do you think he'd say? He'd probably be shocked by the, the use, of, use of synths that I've been using a lot recently. They're very new for me uh, yeah. as, as a to go down. I don't quite... I think it'd just be more shattered. I'm not quite as famous as I should be at this mm-hmm. point. No, no, no. <laughs> That's all right. That's absolutely fine. So listen, also, um, you seem to have, uh, was it love, you love working with the piano, despite admitting that you're not much of a player. So if your guitar and piano had a conversation, what would they say uh, about your uh, your playing style? Uh, woefully inept. Oh, come on, come on. You, that's no, not... I think they'll probably say... Yeah. Um, they'll yeah. probably say he's over-complic- overcomplicating this, yeah. which is the tendency I have. I'm very often in the studio, particularly with Corey and Pete, who do a lot yeah. of the sort of, like, Corey's a bit of a musical director before yeah. me. She's often pulling things back, going, let's just... And it was Lou Reed who said, anything more than three, three quarters of the chance and anything more than that showing off. And mm. she sort of tends to say, yes. you know, you, 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 no need for prog rock chords in the two-minute pop song. Very good, very good. And you, you're big on keeping uh, the mystery in your music. So, uh, But if you ha- had to write a song about a completely mundane topic, uh, like, doing, <laughs> like doing the laundry, um, how would the, the chorus go? Doing the laundry would probably be unfolding, unfolding, unfolding yes. it away unfolding unfolding it unfolding I like that very good great answer great answer now look <laughs> live performances Jimmy and uh, inspiration so look um, you've played in tiny clubs and uh, imagined them uh, as Wembley Stadium uh, if you could perform <laughs> in any you never know you could end up there but uh, if you could perform in any fictional location uh, like uh, like Death Star or what is it, uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, uh, where would it be and what would uh, be on the set list, on your set list? Yeah. Well, that's a great question. You like I it? I think, yep. yeah, I'd have to go with... I think a tiny... You know the Blues Brothers where they go back to um, Elroy's flat like a little bed sit and it's about the size of a cupboard yes I think a gig in a cupboard space like that where you can only get to yes. two one person it's an exclusive gig okay I think that would be and I think the song choice would have to be yeah. um loud <laughs> okay right okay yes very good now listen i wanted to ask you also what's the most bizarre thing you've ever seen happen in the crowd during one of your shows uh, did it inspire any new lyrics <sighs> When I played in Asia the first time, one of the last shows we did was yeah. at a festival, and the warm-up pack was Snake Charmers. Yeah. Uh, and oh, really? the guy we got in, or went after with the crowd and had a snake around his neck yeah. and watched the entire performance. Not very far from where I was standing, so I was trying to have one eye on the crowd yeah. and one eye on the snake. Yes. Um, wow. Uh, did it inspire any lyrics? Yeah. Possibly. Um, Possibly, Possibly. Somewhere, somewhere deep inside. Okay. It, 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 and and maybe you don't you you don't dance to you because I wasn't moving yes. very much that day. And what about your dance moves though? Because you you've got some unusual dance moves. I mean, if you had to <laughs> to teach a dance class, you know, using only your on stage moves. I mean, what would the first lesson be? It would be the sort of hip thrust knee drop. Um, <laughs> God, you really were into the wiggles, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my uh, gosh, that's very good. Do you know what we have actually? Now, you know what, Jimmy? We could talk all night. Uh, you've been absolutely brilliant. Um, I actually do genuinely appreciate you being on the show tonight. I'm so sorry that ten minutes went too quickly. I yeah. Agree. Do you agree? 
I definitely agree. I'm going to have to come back on. You're going to have to come back on. Absolutely uh, fantastic having you on tonight, Jimmy. Um, we wish you a fantastic weekend. Uh, and, uh, yes, you are definitely coming back on the About Us show. And uh, have a lovely weekend. Take care, mate. Thank you, mate. All the best to you. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Jimmy Madden, uh, and uh, he was on tonight, of course, if you've only just missed it. Well, gosh, that's what you've got to be listening in from 8 until 9 p.m. We'll see you after this, people.